it is meat, so it is chicken. It'll taste exactly as you would expect a chicken to taste. So the part that's remarkable about it is we didn't have to raise and slaughter a chicken to get real chicken meat out of it. And the part that's unremarkable is that it tastes like chicken. It's what we've been used to eating for thousands of years. Cultivated meat is meat. Like I said, it's not a meat alternative. It's meat that's grown from real animal cells. So what we do is we take really high quality animal cells from let's say a cow or a pig or a chicken or a lobster, and we look for cells that can continue to grow outside the animal in a very robust and a healthy way. This is the earliest cells with the smallest possible while. So as you can see, Michelle, she's removing some of the cell banks that we have with breeds of cells from the liquid nitrogen tank. We can store them in there for, for years or decades and not lose those cells. And we take them out from a little while. There's multiple vials in that little box. They'll take those cells out, they'll thaw them out, and they'll grow them out in a, in a very clean fashion. So the challenge right now in getting it into retail or supermarkets is production capacity. So we're going to start out with small production capacity and we're going to start with the restaurants initially. But as we scale in the next three to five years, we want to be able to be in rest, you know, restaurants as well as retails, whether it's a Safeway or a Wegmans or a Tops. And that's really where I think most people will be able to access it as we scale. We think the initial pricing will be uh, premium, premium to organic, and with time, over the next five to 10 years, it'll come, come to uh, conventional parity. And we also expect the price of conventional meat to continue to grow up significantly. It keeps going up, cultivated meat price comes down, and there's a sweet spot in the next five to 10 years where we intersect, and we become more affordable than conventional meat. And that's what we're going after.